99% of the people out there who've had a thyroid test done, it is not a thorough test, guaranteed. So you should have, of course, a good thyroid test performed, especially if you have true concerns. You're tired, you're wiped out, you go in, or you've had your thyroid, uh, you're taking thyroid medication, being treated for something for a thyroid, you should, you know you have a thyroid problem, you should actually have a complete thyroid test done. And 99% of the people out there who've had a thyroid test done, it is not a thorough test, guaranteed. So you should have your TSH and your T4 and your free T4 and your T3 and your free T3 and also your reverse T3. T7, T3 uptake, those numbers are all great ones to do. But also your thyroid antibodies, which would be TPO antibodies. Also your thyroglobulin antibodies. Now this is the point. If you do, if you're taking thyroid medication, or even if you're not, either way, if your thyroid hormones, that is like your TSH and your T4 and T3 and those numbers, if they're normal, but your thyroid antibodies are still elevated, you could be still wiped out and tired because there is an immune system process that's going on inside your body. It's like you're walking around with the flu all the time. That's why it's important to address the why. Why are the thyroglobin antibodies high? Why, is the T why are the TPO antibodies high? Why is the autoimmunity present? Around 90% of the time, if you have somebody that has elevated TPO antibodies, according to the studies, you're going to find also that Epstein-Barr is in convalescent mode, a type of virus, and that's one of several that could be present, but Epstein-Barr, which is the monovirus, has been found to be very much associated with thyroid disorders and is present in those thyroid, thyroid disorders, causing the immune system to flare up and causing you to attack your own thyroid, because that's what autoimmunity is. So having a convalescent Epstein-Barr test performed is a staple important to look at for those that do have thyroid autoimmunity.